Welcome to a Delco Nerd Network hot take. If you haven't seen a hot take before, it's where a few friends sit in a basement, give our thoughts, give our opinions on a TV show, a movie, or a game. Today, it's going to be a movie. That movie is Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, right? The, the is in there? Okay, The Rise of Skywalker. Of course, as always, Chris Trio and a longtime DNN fan. Glad to have him on, Mike Mandel. Welcome, my friend. Another local Star Wars fan. Honestly, with Star Wars content, I try to only bring anyone who isn't us. I was like, I have to bring on, like, Star Wars fans. Someone who enjoys it a lot. Not just, like, a schmuck. (laughs) (laughs) No schmucks allowed. So, So, yeah, let's start with Mike. What'd you think? Spoiler free. Spoiler, we'll give it, like, a quick overview. So, quick overview for me is surprising. I enjoyed it on, like, a first viewing. I really did enjoy it, like, thinking about it after the fact. There was a lot of things I had to be like, wait, how does this tie in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what happened with this? I think one of the main and first things I thought about after watching it was that, like, this movie could have been a trilogy on its own. It could have been two I, movies. I agree. Yeah. yeah, like, I even have that written down here. Like, feels like two movies, for better or for worse. Exactly. Uh, and because of that, I think just, like, they implemented a lot of things in the last two movies that they didn't go into too much detail with with this. So yeah. I just feel like there was a lot of wasted time that could have made it better. But overall, I liked it. Uh, fair, Gooch. You want me to go? Yeah, go. For okay. It. I feel like this movie's good. It's a lot better than Last Jedi. A lot oh, yeah. better. And I mean, like, a lot better. Because, I, I mean, I'm going in with low expectations just because sure. we're coming off that and I didn't Absolutely. like that. I was fair enough. not with it. I liked it. But. I have just some like fucking major gripes with this movie. I'm curious. I assume they're major. Very, they're, they're very spoiler heavy gripes. I assume. Right. Yeah, like so, well, all, yeah. all this, all everything that I have gripes with is just like Star Wars world stuff and things that are just like, how the fuck did that happen? Like what? Like and, and like like force powers stuff. That kind of thing and like yeah. oh the fact right. that like the last Jedi essentially doesn't even exist in this movie. <laughs> I don't. Besides, think, I don't agree with besides that. Besides Kylo um, and Rey's conflict i feel like that's the only thing they took away from that movie and then jj abrams is like trying to retcon it pretty it felt much like an apology in a lot of ways really did. did i didn't like that i didn't either that's yeah. i are you good you did anything else you want oh no you can go yeah. on. i enjoyed it i'm one of the weirdos apparently who really enjoyed the last jedi and i like the leaps that uh ryan johnson took i know a lot of people felt like they were I don't want to say betrayals because that feels like a, a very heavy-handed word. Yeah, but like I would, I would say, I'd say yeah, <laughs> like almost ideas of, of of how maybe Luke's story would have turned out in certain aspects. I personally enjoyed those, and I felt like some of them were built upon in certain ways in this, not as heavily as I would have liked to see. But I think they did use the ones that I think more people liked than not story points like than not from the last one, like. I didn't love Canto Bite. I didn't like a lot of that storyline. Did but I anyone did... like Canto no, Bite? No, no. Like I don't. I've never no, heard I anyone didn't... say a good thing about that. I part. mean, I think I don't think it's as atrocious as people say it is. But I didn't love that part. I enjoyed Luke's arc throughout that whole movie, and I felt like there was a very completed part. To at least that for me in this movie, especially in one scene that I don't want to talk about yet until we get into spoilers. Yeah. Um, but I enjoyed it. I felt like again there was there's a lot of fan servicey moments that not that that's necessarily even bad. I enjoyed them and I thought they were cool and I was like woo, but like there were some reveals where I was like cool. Yeah. I don't like I was like I don't know I wasn't like whoa yeah oh my god it yeah. was something like I was like oh that's cool that makes sense. But overall, I think it's a pretty good Star Wars movie and it does good things to help. I, I guess bring the fan base together because whether you like the Last Jedi or not. It did divide the fan base in yes. a lot of ways, and I do recognize that. But I, yeah, that's it. I feel that's like it at first, spoiler free. At, at first glance, this movie isn't going to divide, but I feel like as time goes on, something's gonna. Solid. For this one, yeah, yeah, I just have a feeling. I just have a feeling. It's like about a fifty-seven percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Well, really? and that is, yeah, it's yeah. fifty. Well, not for what the, was last uh, Jedi? the score. That was ninety-one. Um, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for critics, no, I think no but again fans. and then and for this the fans have like it at like an 85 yes. and the critics have it at a 50 and it's funny to see those disparages because like we see that with like something even venom has a has a 50 something on rotten tomatoes and it has like a 90 something on what the audience a, score. what a wow. fucking travesty. so like i <laughs> i i hate going 
by critic scores a lot. Right. And I do think it's interesting what that what we can learn from that, but I lost my point. Where was I going? You know, I, I think I've been seeing is a lot critic scores have a lot to do with how many twists and unsafe routes that they go. Yeah. I think. And I, I think, think that's this was overdone. A safe yeah, movie. A hundred percent. And like you said, yeah, this was an apology agree. to a lot of yes. those fans that yes. felt wronged. And I'm I, I don't know if that's necessarily a good or a bad thing. I think there are some elements in this that I was just like, okay, I guess I'll accept that. But uh, yeah. then others were like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I that's agree. fine. I agree. And then there were like a few. There was one moment where I was like, oh shit! But I can't talk about. So we get into some yeah, I feel like we're gonna talk in circles until exactly. we, 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 yeah. we go see the get... movie if you're a Star Wars. I mean, I don't know. I did. I walked out and I heard one guy go, "Man, I was just waiting for that to be over the entire time." <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, "Why are you even seeing the movie? Yeah, <laughs> like, what are you even doing?" All right. Yeah. Anyways, let's, you want to move let's, into spoilers? Let's jump stuff? into spoilers. Okay. I was like, just say like, just jump in at the end. Okay. So, <laughs> raise the Palpatine. How do we feel about? that? I just feel like it's like, see. It's not obvious, but it's like oh. that was one of my <laughs> really. That was one of my conclusions. Poss- like I thought she was either a clone, a it, Kenobi, it, it, or a. It's Palpatine. almost like two on the nose. Yeah. So I I do like the kind of theme though of like yes you do come from power but you don't have to be defined from that exactly. That and yeah. then she I, takes the Skywalker name as if nothing ever fucking mattered. You're yeah. your own person. Why would you take somebody else's last name? I would expected her to be like, oh, I am a Palpatine, and I'm going to like redefine what that means. Or like not have a last name. I feel like yeah. there is a lot of baggage with the Palpatine name. <laughs> I, know. Right, <laughs> I don't right, know. Like, I, right. I don't know. No. I kind of... But you know I what I'm saying. Yeah, I do. You know I what I mean? I don't love yeah. that, actually. And I then, don't love that she did, but I also wasn't like... No, no, she can't yeah. be and, a Skywalker. And if, like, if, if we took that line out of the movie, Rise of Skywalker, the title would be irrelevant. Because yeah, well, honestly, I don't like the title of the movie. I no. don't think it makes much sense. It's Ben Solo's The Last Skywalker. Well, yeah, he right. is. So, yeah. And the if, Last Solo. And if yeah. Ben, I kind of wish Ben was the one who survived. Because I feel like the, like it would have been I kind of wish they both it, just survived. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Or both survived. Honestly, even both died. Just for, yeah. like, when she died after using all those force powers, I was like, okay, wow, that was... They that went was there. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh-huh. She she used all her life to save everyone. That's... It was cool. Yeah. And I, I don't know if I necessarily love that final, how it happens, how... Oh, no. How, yeah. what, what happens, but I what do final? like the idea... What are you talking about? ...when Palpatine is destroyed by her. Oh, oh, oh he's gotten yeah, fucked up by lightning like four times. It's, it's stop r- using the lightning, it's, Palpatine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I do. I, like, just it's kept, just like no, going, stop no. with it. But I, I really felt like he was underutilized in this movie, and it comes back to the point of what you were saying. This could have been two movies. The yeah. dead speak. Oh I'm, my! When I read that, I was like. What the fuck does that mean? No, like, I was like, are you like, kidding right. me? Like, they did use that opening call, like, all right, we're going to just give you some of these story yeah. points just so you know about them. There you go. Okay, yeah, he's now we're holding Big back deal, in. but, like, yeah. you know, just believe it. But just by the yes. way. And, like, they actually kind of do somewhat set it up in the backstory comics. In Nessus, so, in Battlefront 2, he starts off Operation Cinder, which is, like, blowing up all the weakest, how he deems them, uh, empirical worlds, to show power and to keep stuff going right and then he sent guys to the unknown reaches of space which we assumed was the first order but actually ended up being the this final fleet, order the final order which he came <laughs> up with uh and how did you guys like the way he like looked like i thought his the way he looked was insane i like that a like lot. how he had like yeah. this arm yes. going down and he was just kind I of this it. almost floating so torso. yeah, he, yeah was, i didn't notice and i was listening to a review yesterday i didn't notice he didn't have legs yeah it's a, yeah he's just or like well, he's you just can't like, see them basically he's, just, really, he's a torso cloak. It, wow, i, I think you could probably that. interpret it either way yeah. like it could like it looks like he might just be floating but to me i assumed he like was basically i mean just his, a his, by his yeah. fingers are all fucked up so they started coming back so then he didn't clone himself then he must he, he just survived. Snoke. Yeah, he cloned Snoke. Snoke. Like, uh, that was weird. I was yeah, like, they, oh. They kind of threw that in really quickly. And just they went right not. by, and it's like, just pay no yeah. mind. Pay no yeah, mind. And he just goes, like, he says, he, he's like, I was using Snoke to control you from this. Yeah. I guess the idea that they're trying to say is that he was trying to stay hidden while amassing this big army, but he did want to set in motion just some kind of, not imperial presence, but that sort of presence to, I guess, start it off. Or maybe to just distract them from even thinking about looking out in those outer regions. But, yeah, I digress. I, I really think that they should have capitalized on implementing him a little earlier in the film. Or Snoke or the, Palpatine? Palpatine. Just 
because of how abrupt that they killed. Even Snoke, if at the like, end could've... of like Last Jedi, if he was yes. like, if it was, I don't even care if it was an after credit scene, but he was like, like it was just him saying something like, "All right, almost Thanos like." Like, all right, looks I'm like it's time myself. for me to get back or in Or even, like, yeah, like, just, this just came in my mind. Like, just, like, imagine seeing another Snow clone, like, him taking that. Yeah, yeah. Or no, something like that. Just, that would have been cool, like, as his body, just for that moment. Yeah. Yeah, I, they're apparently exploring, like, Snoke more, or, like, his, how he meets Kylo in the Kylo origin comic right now. Which ah. I heard is okay. I yeah. really, if, if you haven't read the the Vader one, I, I, I have read the Vader one. That one's, yeah, I think, yeah. really good. Is that um, the one with the dude with the helmet who, like, he, there's, like, a, um, another Sith yes. person uh, Dar- stuck in a head? Yeah. So, this is an interesting point. Does, is Kylo technically part of, part Palpatine? Because if you, in the comics, they're, st- they're it's very heavily implied that, that he uh, mal- manipulated the Mandalorians, the Mandalorians, the, <laughs> the uh, Mandalorians, yeah. to, to, like, <laughs> to create, to Anakin. create Anakin. So, basically, they are, both related technically because i don't know how that would work yeah like did he actually use his own dna to create that or did he literally just create it from inside her 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 womb and because there was actually even a a deleted line from revenge of the sith where he palpatine literally goes so you can say i'm somewhat of your father like in that scene when they're in the uh when he's telling him oh, the yeah, Dark yeah, Plagueis yeah, one, he yeah, ended up but, going okay. with the more ambiguous route and like leaving it a little bit more up to the viewer. But yeah, uh, I don't know. I think they are they could be related, and maybe that's why they share that that bond. Yeah, uh, like, that we find out by, about by the end. Uh, dude, when she shot the fucking lightning, oh, at, that, that was, was a mo- my... that was a moment. I'm like. Stop. <laughs> everyone, everyone just fucking calm down. That one was, I was like, oh shit. And if Chewie would have yeah. died in that moment, yeah. that would have, it would have like, made, it would have felt way more, like that moment would have been so much more powerful. But, they, oh no, he's alive. There was too many of those. Honestly, see, yeah. there, there was, was a moment when he, like, I know. Admit, like, he was like, okay, you guys can take my memory. That was powerful. Yeah, that and then they just, he sees can R2 we, can and we, like, he's like, yeah. Oh, you're back. good. Yeah, he's like, back. C three P C three P O in this movie was fucking fantastic. He was, oh, great. Yeah, he was great. And this, he's yeah. yeah. Well, like, like out of nowhere. No, like, like not that he's not in most of the movies, sure. but he's definitely yeah. in this one the most. The and I was just like, in this movie in general is good. I think it's very. Yeah, Star Wars. I, I would agree. I actually, like yeah. even like one thing I absolutely loved was seeing the three main characters together for the yes. whole thing. Like, I yeah, really I would thought agree. Their chemistry was awesome, and I did. That did make me go like, man, I wish we did see more of that throughout the entire trilogy, and that's. I think the big disconnect with this trilogy is they didn't write it all in one go. They right, and they said they were going they were, to. Yeah. They, they wrote the first one, then they gave it to Ryan Johnson, and for then, better or for worse, he did what he did, yeah. and then they were like, oh no, but I don't, a lot, some people don't like this, a lot of people don't like this, whatever it is, let's course correct. And I mean, you feel that. I don't think it's as, as jarring as, say, like, a Justice League, where there's this hard no, no. right turn into a different type of movie. movie. Yeah, yeah. But... Yeah, I, I really do think that rings from this. And I mean, even George Lucas, great, visionary. The guy gave us Star Wars, he's amazing. But he hadn't he didn't know the whole story when he was writing out the first three, but he still no. came up with the more cohesive story. And I feel like what we got. And I think that's probably the saddest part of this trilogy for me. Yeah. In, in that respect. It but What was the saddest part? How disconnected a lot of the movies. Oh, okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Also, I don't know about you guys, I didn't love the lightsaber stuff in this movie. No that much no. at all. Like I The fighting? Yeah. I actually enjoyed it, and I I kind of noticed. Did you notice how like Kylo would do like the behind the arm um, thing, and then Ray did yes. it right after he did? It's like she was like she was mimicking him almost. Yeah, yeah, but like to a point where like maybe she wasn't confident in her skills, and she was like trying to like mimic him. Cause like I like how they're both like they're not Obi Wan and Anakin from Revenge of the Sith. Like yeah. they don't fight like that. They fight very like gorilla and rugged, and they're like especially like, Kylo. It's he almost throws his weight yeah. into those swings. It's man. almost a mix of like original trilogy and new trilogy stuff. I still, my favorite lightsaber battle, I actually think throughout this entire trilogy is the Ray and Kylo one at the beginning in force awakens. That I good. love that one. Yeah. In the force. Uh, but yeah, even like, I don't but know. I, as I, I went, enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't, I don't think they were bad by any means. I just felt like it was a lot of close ups. There were kind of a lot of cuts and like, even I was, I was surprised about how many lightsaber battles there were. There was like honest. six. Yeah. Right. So many flips. Too. The, the <laughs> skipping though of like, the link where they were going into different places. Yeah, that was a, that, that was a when J.J. Abrams really came out with that article that was like 
you know, we were talking about it yeah, yeah. before we started about, oh, uh, like, there's going to be some force powers people that's are going to be, gonna like, be annoyed about, yeah. And I think that's one of them. I actually, that's my I, biggest but I like it. I kind of liked it just because I felt like it was a natural extension of that force power we first saw, the, and, the, and then the only and then one that I didn't like was when he, when she put her hand behind his, her head, and, and she then took Kyler the lightsaber, just like pulled the lightsaber out. I was like, yeah, I don't know. I, I, don't know. I, I did. like that's just, too, like, but I think they established that. When the, he grabs the thing off her, yeah, and, 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 then, yeah. and then the the they Darth do. Vader helmet and, yeah, and sure. stuff, like they definitely. I, but bring I, I it do up. see that's a weird that's a weird one for and, me. But the re- what, see when you look at this as a trilogy of nine though, in like a whole universe, yeah. when you start adding powers, like right, that, it and makes it's a not lot explained. of the things happen that happened in the past feel a little less weight. And maybe yeah, they can like, only do that though because of their connection. That they, they say is but, incredibly rare. Yes, so I are think they, that, is, yeah. that is what they're trying. Are they the chosen ones? Like that, like. He mentions that they're stronger than the chosen one. He Ray is definitely that. way more powerful than Luke Skywalker, force wise. A hundred from what we've seen in the movies, yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Oh my god! I mean, if you go by Legends comics, Luke will fucking pull a, yes. a star oh. out of the sky or something. But like, oh yeah. God, yeah, like that's. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like he, there's, I was reading Empire Lost, and he sees a fucking ATAT or yeah, and he literally just goes. Flum and just pulls it like down. when when she like when she like nice. like, I like that. puts her hand out to stop that yeah. drop shit like it was like nothing like like there was no like thought and slow mo like she went up and t- she grabbed it and like it she was seemed in- distracted too which is, I noticed that as well so, well like, she it saw, yeah. seem like she was like very, fully like, focused fully on that she was kind of looking at Kylo right. well I think ready, it was like, almost more he made her angry yeah. and as we know anger these days yeah all, speaking of an- speaking of anger I really like how. I- and I think I'll say this confidently. I don't think Kylo Ren is a Sith. No, no he's not. He's not. Yeah, yeah. No. I mean, even by the and end. I, and I like how they both like like the one good thing I liked about Last Jedi was they like treaded the line between like neutral force users. Like they were both good and they're both bad and like yeah. it's clear as day. Like they're not trying to hide either side of both of these characters. Honestly, the Jedi. But they they never go into like. Uh, like um, from I think it's Clone Wars or Rebels, the Bendu stuff and like the nu- neutral force users and it's oh, like yeah, oh yeah, yeah. like like Ahsoka, like Ahsoka yeah. is a neutral force user and that is like a, a gray thing. Jedi. Yeah. Why why was that not explored? I feel like that would because been these awesome. movies are more about. Um, I think they tried to do the ambiguous stuff in the last movie and a lot of people didn't. Did, like, did you like that? I'm just curious. What, like the, the more um, ambiguous, like everything's a little bit more gray in the galaxy rather than. So, black and white yes and no so you just I don't like really maybe... like the sith and yeah. like the jedi i liked i always liked those ways like so i've read a lot of eu and all those, those sure. legends so i like a lot of that stuff and i loved how in right. this time period luke had like the jedi order and everything and like nothing but it was a looser one in a way for sure right. it, it wasn't have, it, it wasn't, wasn't established the prequels, yeah let's put it the first the prequel jedi suck yes they like, so they bad they're like you can't have sex yes. you can't like it's funny like going i was listening to <laughs> i mean they're like a religion podcast. no they are and yeah it's, like yeah. they're monks essentially. and it's funny because like i was listening to a podcast like from a guy i can't remember which one it was he saw the original trilogy obviously when it came out mm-hmm. and then he went in to see the the prequels and that like it's funny to think that maybe people didn't even really realize that the Jedi were that strict. And then once George actually presented them to him, you're like, oh, they're right. full on monks. Like he yeah. was like, I almost thought of them more as just peacekeepers, like Green Lanterns, almost like in a way, okay. like where you didn't, maybe you didn't have all these strict rules. But I think that was more of a point of George to show that it was more of a religion. And I mean, they did. They're so dumb. Yeah. What? Like <laughs> they're, they're so, so dumb. Good, like, <laughs> all right, we shouldn't. We shouldn't train. We shouldn't <laughs> like, train the blunt. boy. Are you sure though? All right, we'll train the boy. It's yeah. fine. <laughs> it's like, I will do have it. you ever seen the robot chicken with? Uh, I think it's called Yarnal Poof. It's when they do one on Star Wars. Yeah, I've seen. I've seen a good movie. They're so fucking fun. Oh he's just sitting God. over the corner, like, oh, he's like, oh, you're gonna train him. Okay, I guess there's no other Jedi Council members here to ask about that. <laughs> Whatever, it's yeah, all right. Yeah. But yeah, I I agree. I I think it is cool to see those neutral Force users, and I wish and they would explore them more. Going back yeah, to and like I do like that though. Mm-hmm. To a last Jedi point, I feel like. Ryan Johnson was trying to establish that and then or sorry establish the fact that Luke was at the point where he thought the Jedi didn't work yeah and I kind of I was like kind of on board with that I, I don't know I, not, I don't enjoy really... Luke's arc through that movie that's my that's why I like yeah that it's like so clearly much, but... the Jedi I don't think work yeah like I, not that you see it in the prequels but like like you kind of look I mean what's... by the end of it you do <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> by the end of it you kind of understand why yeah. but 
And then they're just like, and then Luke's like, nah, you're a Jedi now. Like, and like, it's so retconned. It is. It's not that like. No, oh, but by the end, oh, he has that epiphany. Right. That the but Jedi like, are I, needed. And he, and he says the Jedi are not dead. But he, like. He has I, that. I feel like a, an epiphany would have been like the Jedi aren't needed, but people like that are. Not the Jedi, but like force, force users, users yeah. of some caliber. And like and like maybe he would have gone into like like being gray or neutral about it. Like that's kind of where I thought it was going and where I wanted it to go because that would have been fucking well, cool. Well, and I think it's even more about like it's reformation with and it's Jedi different. Order. And like, but like I think you can have them be Jedi and have them realize these mistakes from the Jedi. Like what's uh, and still be good and and Jedi and get rid of those. Like six years aspects. from now, yeah. what I don't want to see, I don't want to see another fucking Jedi order. I don't want to, I don't want to have the prequels again. Like, like where are they going to go? Like they're, they're definitely going to make a sequel to this movie at some point. I think right? they're going to wait a, a while. But I yeah, hope for they sure. do. They've I been hope they do. They're advertising how it's the end though. Okay. No, no, it's exactly. not. I agree. <laughs> but I, I do think, I think either. in 15, it, I don't think it's going to be that soon. I'd be very surprised. I should say. Yes. I think 10, 15 years down the line, I think we could easily see a follow up to this in some way, shape, or form. Right. Sure. But I, I don't know. I like. I thought his arc came pretty complete, especially when she goes to throw for Luke. Anyways, she goes to throw the lightsaber in the fire, and he catches it. And he's like, "A Jedi's weapon is not meant to be treated so, with such disrespect." I thought that was like that to me was like that was a straight apology to us for what for the Ryan. Oh Thomas yeah, but that's true. Yeah, I g- only because when that first happened in the Last Jedi, when he got the lightsaber and threw it behind his head, I didn't know how to react. I saw that and I felt hurt, like yeah. I, in a way. Th- I that just, was like, like but, and I, again, I, one of those moments of fear where I go. Yeah, and like, I guess what? I kind of <laughs> yeah I don't know like you're I, pissed like, off <laughs> I enjoyed that he was like no I'm fucking done with this like I caused another emperor basically I'm an idiot I don't think I should be doing this I- I'm gonna sit here where I can't cause anything and that's a dumb thing to think he was wrong and I think Ray showed him that by the end and even when he shows up in his astral projection on crate to be there to give them the time they need to go I think he does have that epiphany and he realizes and that's the Jedi are needed and even that's when he catches that thing. I do think that was a direct apology, but yeah. I don't think it was so far out of left field. The only anyways. reason why I didn't, the main reason why, not the only, I guess yeah. I could say, is that I didn't like his arc is because he gave up on Kylo Ren, his nephew, rather than giving up on his father, who Darth Vader was known to have killed how many people and like just be the most evil person ever. And like he was like, he says it to Leia that he would not give up on. Him. And like, so when he said that he gave up because he, with Kylo Ren, I was like, I don't. I can't get behind that. That's not Luke Skywalker to me. Like he's not. Yeah, I hear you. And like, I, I think he was more. I don't think he. I think he was more ashamed. It was the point because he he did have that momentary lapse of he didn't go to kill him. He lit his lightsaber and it immediately fleeted. And even I think that has what's the word I'm looking for precedent. Even in like from Return of the Jedi when he Vader threatens Leia, he goes ape shit. Oh, but yeah, then he, he realizes no. That isn't the way. But I think this was more... He did this to an innocent kid rather than this guy who has been killing people for years and sure. years. And he felt like he... At least is how okay. I read it. He okay. felt he wasn't worthy of doing this anymore. Or he just... Yeah. I, at least that's how I took it. Yeah, no, no. But, no. yeah. I, I, I don't know. I That part felt really good to me. And I, I really did enjoy that. And I liked seeing Luke show up. Well, well, what do you think about the Force Ghosts and how they can interact with the world as well as, like, even the last Jedi with Yoda when bringing he calls the lightning, the down, lightning down, down on the thing, and that goes back to the Force powers having more I, power in it. One I thing I, I think my gripe with that is, like, like, uh, like what is it? Like, death seems to be very irrelevant in a way. I, I mean, they even say... It just seems that I much the Force, you're just, like, God. Like, you right. Can do anything. If you become one with the Force, you never die. Ray and literally I, I mean, fucking they say dies that, think, in this movie, and they bring her back, and it's just like, what? <laughs> well, and I guess he, tra- he transferred his life. So, like, I don't know if she would have became an, a Force ghost necessarily. I mean, I feel like she No, have. I don't think so. But... Obviously, She's not mad. Kylo Kylo did. his last lights. It seemed yeah, he disappeared. He did. He right. became one with the Force. Yeah. Uh, and I guess it's that selfless act, almost, of giving yourself yeah. over for the greater good of the galaxy. And I, I guess they never, they never necessarily said they couldn't interact with anything physically in the old ones. Yeah. That's so true. I, well, I kind of ex- <laughs> again, I, it's just Obi Wan does sit on the tree. That's, that's what I'm saying. Really. Like, so there's just weird things like where I'm like, that's one I can personally. Accept. I mean, and and that's where like because like, otherwise, why would you want to be? They're a just force pushing ghost? this yeah. like lore that's not established, but they're pushing it like they're yeah. like hey well, like, see, we're gonna this is something that i this. personally thought of and i think it's a cool 
uh, for seeing Han Solo. So, first of all, like I that was cool. That was a great Han Solo scene. the character However, in the movie. I think that it was missed potential, and I think it should have been Darth Vader. I think that they should have. No, I was Han's thinking it should have like been Hayden Christensen. Hayden Christensen. No, 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 yeah. absolutely. Yeah. The yeah. Anakin Skywalker coming back and telling his grandson that he made the same mistakes and that you can bounce back. That you don't like. It's hard, but like. Just because you did that doesn't mean you can't. He's like, listen, you didn't kill a bunch of children. Yeah. So, like, I think you <laughs> listen, can. Exactly. Your I killed young the weight of that. Like, yes, you know, Han was no, good, just... but it was just like a recap of what happened. In and it was, so I guess he was Awakens. like a, me- he even says it, he's like, you're a memory. Yeah, like, yeah he was, a, that he it totally wasn't, wasn't a ghost. Yeah. yeah. He was, he was I did like that a lot. I'm surprised I got Harrison Ford. I know. Do you, really did, 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 do you think that, he looked honestly. like disheveled as fuck, or did like? <laughs> I, I think he. Got I was like, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Like, look at his hair! Like, he yeah, does he not did look not good. Did. <laughs> did. I mean, he has been dead, so. I don't... <laughs> yeah, it's true. I don't know if they go to the same spot Jedi do. Yeah, but just kind yeah, of yeah. we've been talking about it. One of my big, my favorite things about this movie is the Kylo and Rey dynamic. I really like. Li- I like really the tr- like the way like they the trilogy interact. In general, or just this movie. Like oh no, the trilogy in yeah, general. Yeah, yeah. Like I really, I mean, and this movie kind of solidified that because sure. it's the most in this movie. But like, I really just like the way they're kind of like bouncing off each other. They're kind of like debating with each other and like, oh, like like Kylo is really like using the First Order more than yeah. he is their supreme leader. He's definitely not. And even yeah, there's yeah. Dis, there's dissent like, along the ranks. And even, yeah, I did like the idea of that allegiant general like being alive even from the original Empire. Who the fuck was right? he? I think he was Pride. just a random. It's because they they kind of just disgrace Hux in the last movie, in the last Jedi. So at that point, they kind of needed someone to take over to, to be like right, I, but, and it makes sense because he. I don't think he's anyone specific that we would know from the Pride original. Because Pride literally trilogy. goes, oh, like I served you. Yeah. I think first, he was just like, one of the you? top imperial. Did I, I miss mean, you? Well, well, we see then, that room of guys. Yeah. Lower rank up, yeah. Exactly. You know I mean? Or even just like. There's that room full of generals. Like, True. he could have just been one of them. Right. And I guess that's believable. I think you can, yeah, I think that one's easy to kind of just slip in. And I'm like, did, okay, he was, did and you he li- looked old enough. Did you like the Hux twist? I didn't see that coming at all. I didn't see it coming either. But I didn't like or hate it. I shouldn't see that coming. Yeah, no, yeah. it's what <laughs> Super said that. He was, we were in the, he's like, it's Hux. I was like, and then, he, and then he's like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm letting you go. And I did like how he was, I don't care if you win. I just don't want Kylo yeah, Ren. Yeah. To, uh, Which is interesting, because I, I, I didn't lose. think it was going to be like that when they first talked about it. And then he's like, oh, no, I, I, I just don't very, like Kylo Ren. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, all right, that's fair. <laughs> like, yeah. He kind of like, like, not abuses him, but like, you know. Well, I mean, I think Throws him around his, like yeah, he's yeah. nothing. I mean, Hux was basically his other second in command. It looks like Kylo was his right-hand man for Snoke. Hux was his left-hand man. Uh... Yeah, I'm trying to think. There was one other question. I'm back. What? How do you guys feel about like the Finn stuff where he almost could sense what was going on? He's like force that. sensitive. So that's he's, what I was thinking. Like, that's force what he wanted. Yeah, that's yeah. when he wanted to tell Ray. Yeah. Not that he loved her. That he was force well, sensitive. So, inter- that yeah. makes a lot more sense to me. Yeah, I actually I really like that. Well, I think it's really funny what they've done with uh, Finn. Sorry, Finn and, I was gonna say Poe, yeah. but Finn's <laughs> love interest in this trilogy like fuck he's going rose ray <laughs> she in, wasn't even in his the love force awakens though. then yeah the last jedi randomly rose comes in there but now there's this new character and it just honestly like so a lot of fans i think were saying that finn and power to get together i, I yeah. would rather them just explore that than give just him yeah, yeah. Give that him was like six <laughs> different arcs but it was funny because i didn't like, even feel like like ray like or what well, Rose, Rose wasn't yeah. even really his love. She no, liked she him, liked him yes. but yeah. he didn't. That was, he didn't like, that, 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 that was the most kiss awkward on thing Crate, I was like, ever. oh my God, did they just do that? I, honestly, if he killed himself right there and saved the day, I would have. I incredible. think that would have been cool that too. Been amazing. But I don't think they could have done that for just for a few can reasons. We, but, can can yes, we really just I talk agree. about how Rose is the Jar Jar Binks of the sequel trilogy? Dude, she they, really is. Like, she. They sidelined the shit out of her, but also, like, like I feel bad for the the, the actress. actress. Sure, She's yeah. been getting no, so much her. hate, but no, I'm just like, like so yeah, your character shit. is very poorly written. Her character is the worst character ever. Bro. Right? She no. She, I don't think she her. beats Jar Jar by a mile. But I don't. That one. No, I, I honestly like Jar Jar a little better. It. I like it. he's there yeah. for a specific reason. Yeah, at least even he's, as a kid, you he's can the Gungan like it too, diplomat. You know? No, that's true. But see, I'd be curious to ask if a kid did like her in like that. Because I mean, I guess Rose is lame. Like I'm very curious to like see what the kid. Kids growing up now yeah, think life. of like the last Jedi and things like oh, that I'm sure in ten or fifteen it. years, sure, and like, sure. uh, it's just it's interesting to me because I really did I liked a lot going back through and watching all the other movies just to see how all of them differently I, I developed. Wish, I wish that. I did that. But I, I think just, it was. I didn't have time. It was very much like a, like the prequels. 
I looked at those through from some rose-colored glasses for a while. Yeah. And, like, even Revenge of the Sith is pretty good. We grew up with them, you know? Exactly. But it, even that, like, I'm like, that that scene at the end when he, Anakin, you were my brother, all that, like, that is powerful. Yeah. But that would have been so much more powerful if the build-up made any sense at all. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Very bad script. No, like, and even, it's but like... you can, apparently he bought in, like, a uh, a script writer and, like, an acting person, like, in for the third one. You can see that. Like, yeah, there, there's yeah. much better performances out sure. of everyone. I mean, dude, Adam was... Driver fucking nails it. Dude, Seriously, I agree. Awesome. Like, I, I want to praise him and Kylo Ren. Like, I like I like Kylo. Kylo Ren is definitely my favorite character of the, the, yeah, you I know, agree. The, I think this he trilogy. Should've, he should have had his redemption in the last movie, though, and gave Ben Solo this entire movie. Just because, yeah. in a way, I feel that like would have been a nice way to change Jedi, it up. A lot of, a lot of it doesn't matter with the way that they ended up. You know, right? Way. You're so, right. Like, you could have really taken out so much of that and extended this, yeah, into that, and that's why there's missed opportunities there. I do think they 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 do a good job of trying to fit those points in. I think they succeed pretty well. But even like, I'm trying to think of ones that really like the Kanto bite. Obviously, doesn't matter at all. The Luke yeah. stuff, I feel like, kind of does matter, personally. Um, I'm trying, well, and, and the, the basic, re- and I didn't hate. I kind of liked the revelation that Ray was nobody. But I like that too. I did too. Yeah, but more of um, the, the basis yeah. of the plot, and then they just the Last it. Jedi is a chase. So the yeah. entirety of the movie is that chase. So that's why how, I wonder how long that it actually because I'm pretty sure. The See, that's what I'm curious too. Because it was funny. I was thinking. It's like, because like time, believe that. Cause time yeah, is yeah. relative where you yeah, are. Yeah, they in say space like too. they say eight hours at one point, yeah. so I believe that. But that's eight hours on that ship. Right. You gotta think about like how long was Ray on Octo for relative to how long that ship. Yeah. Was. Oh, so I think it was you know some I mean? of her training too. Like I agree. I actually really like. How'd you guys think Carrie Fisher was used? So I didn't I, love I it. Didn't like I, it. I didn't really Honestly, love it either. Every single time, I felt like I could tell that like she. That, lines were written so around, around what, she what she, yeah i'm mean, like you yeah. you you knew that they were reusing force awakens i'm right? very same, yeah yeah, yeah. Same so and that was hard, weird like, for me because i knew was. that i'd be very curious to ask someone who isn't privy to that information if what they, they did thought. feel that way because yeah i definitely was like i can tell yeah like, a lot of back of the head shots lots of back lot, of the head shots know. there was like there was the exact same hug scene from force awakens when she walked it was the exact it was same. but it was just behind something different yeah and listen i understand they wanted to put her in this and i I really actually thought the part where it showed Luke training her was really cool. I, I that, that I really is enjoyed EU that. legend shit right there. Yeah. I was like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. I was and like, I, I mean, like I that. When they showed her lightsaber, I was like, yo, is this gonna be a red lightsaber? Yeah, but, but seriously, let's. No, per, she gets let's, like a purple one in the EU, I think. The, the, At some point, she had a red one. See, that's the one thing about the EU that's too much. It goes, yeah, so, dude, it goes, it goes let, literally. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about the real the the MIA person in this movie. Where the fuck is Luke's green lightsaber? Come on, hell on. Where is it? He got rid. He says he got. I don't know if he says it. It says it in the uh, comic. In the comic or Lame. something that he th- he throws it in the ocean or not too. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, because he doesn't. They again, they, they, they needed to mention that. Yeah, That's I'm a big they deal. They showed it to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I and it's funny. I I do think again, like the, even the part with Leia, whether you like it or not, how she displayed her force powers in the Last Jedi. Leia. That show, yeah. Okay. That shows you that she was training. Yes, and I like and that, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I but, again, I don't necessarily love how they made her I use think the she powers. She should have died right there. Honestly, I agree. I think After if she f- died right there, and then that could have been a huge yeah. turning point for. Would have made a lot of fucking sense. Like he, he, that's <laughs> but when no. he goes bad yeah. against the first order. Maybe not completely turns good, it, but I'm curious how but they would have. Sh- he shoots that right. Remember, I'm pretty. He's the one no, who. He's, he's not. He. He's oh, like that's right. And then, and then he pulls and away. Then someone else comes. That's in right. I totally forgot that about that. Just, like imagine being there. Like that. That was powerful. And then like they just kind of like nap. Let's bring her back. Well, but it was p- because they did finish that before she died. Sure, that was all. Yeah. I do think what? that it would have been last they finished Jedi? last Jedi no, before yeah. she passed, yeah. and and they said they were still they weren't killing her off in that movie. And I would I'd be curious to see how much of that that would have changed if they did decide to go back in and re edit. Like how much would yeah. they have had to reshoot right and or, to or, make sense for her dying? I, I really didn't like the way they handled her though. Like overall, like I like I, I thought it was very meh. Yeah, yeah. it was just like yeah. Lando too. Honestly, he, he was very wait. What's I up? actually really enjoyed. What's his up just with little... that end sequence with her and that I girl? Saw, he's I like, like that's you... fine. That super turns to me, and he's like, "Is he gonna fuck okay. her?" I was like, "Are you guys like, tra- no, you, uh, like, so, is he but... trying to fuck her? Like, are you is yeah, are you is like, just trying to be like a daughter? daughter yeah, like what was that? I feel like they had to they cut some stuff out of this movie. Like, apparently I'm... the the original 
rumored runtime was like one forty. I'm sorry, two minute, two hours forty eight okay. minutes or something like that. So they could have. They yeah, definitely could have. Just especially with him, like it just especially with that. I feel like it seemed as if it, it seemed almost as if she was his daughter. Like right, that's what I thought yeah, like, is that. Her, she was taken as a kid and joined the First Order or yeah. whatever. Yeah. So, so, I did enjoy that storyline, too, yeah, that there were more like defecting that. stormtroopers. I, I, I think it needed to be expanded upon. I don't think it was enough. Yeah. I don't, I, it gave me enough and of a nugget. Her yeah. and the, the our, uh, red and yellow Power Ranger girl from... Is it really? No, I don't know. Oh. She just looks like a Power Ranger, right? Which one? Um, the girl, the pose, pose, uh... I, don't think, I loved her outfit. I, I, I like, like her, but, but I was just like... Why are you? What are you near? <laughs> yeah, no. I agree. I would have liked. To she see got her a fucking poster. Yeah, she got a poster because she, she was a cool. She was a Boba Fett. Right. Yeah. She was a Boba. Fett. Oh, I'm, glad, I'm glad they didn't bring Phasma back again. I thought they were. I kind of forgot Phasma were. died. I enjoyed Phasma a lot, actually. I I, I really well, liked I Phasma. To enjoy her, but they didn't do anything with her. Right. Like, she just and they didn't do anything with the Knights of Ren either. Again. Yeah. That was. So another so again, disappointing. that was a fan service mode. That people yeah. wanted to see them so back. They, they gave him. I saw something in the comic. The one has a red lightsaber. They and what, I think that out. I think he. I think he kills. I think that's the only lightsaber wielding one. I'm pretty sure. He, spoilers. I think he takes that one out in the comic. Oh, oh, okay. the idea. oh, great! Thanks. Um, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, seriously, <laughs> figure it out, guys. Get on your Star Wars comics. I, um... uh, but yeah, no, I felt like they they were just there to look. Very cool. Yeah. And those scenes when they were marching down the hallway, he looked badass. They all looked cool together. They looked Buff great. Side right. Side. But, but, but I, I, tell me. I feel like there was no I just don't understand that why that in was... Force Awakens, like, Knights of Ren, watch out. They're important, guys. See, I, Get I, ready. I, <laughs> no. In, in Force Awakens? I feel like, yeah. Well, I feel like I that's mean, how they, really, they, they... He says, leader of the Knights of Ren. That's all he really Not in the mention. movie, but JJ said that. Oh, did he? JJ was like very like, the Knights of Ren are going to play a big part. Nope. <laughs> big, big, big yeah. no to that one. And Again, may- that comes back and to maybe them. Maybe it was cut, or maybe yeah. he just like totally bullshit that My, one. There was like a, a, a theory slash rumor going around that I saw online that they were out supposed to be out collecting dark side artifacts, and it would have been cool if maybe they well, brought him back like Vader's lightsaber right. or something yeah. like or that. Like, okay. like, I like how the Wayfinder is essentially a Sith holocron. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm, I'm I kind of would have liked right it like, oh, it's a Sith holocron, but this one's a Wayfinder. The Wayfinder does yeah. this. Like I was Wait, like, finally, I guess I'm kind of surprised I didn't use the word holocron. I thought they should have too. Yeah, right in the beginning. Right? I like, like I saw. Him. You, know, I I love you know where he was in the beginning? No, on Mustafar. Was he on Mustafar? He was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I th- I was like, was is he? That, yeah, is that he was Mustafar? going to Vader's castle to get that. That's what so it I looked like. He was oh, outside. Oh shit! After. It's That's funny because cool, I thought yeah. that was. I was like, man, that looks like Mustafar. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know what I didn't like when they went to planets and they don't have the. Heading, like I, I, I like that because like it, like I was like, oh okay, That's this is another thing. I didn't love this movie. Was very fetchy, fetchy, oh. fetch questy. Oh, they were running around the whole like, movie. Yeah, what yeah. about the light speed skipping that he did? Oh, that I like that scene a that lot. Was, but the, like, I, is that? I feel like that can't. Does that work, break lore? It breaks lore. So yeah, I was gonna say Han Solo in what is it? I guess a New Hope. Remember, he's like putting in all the codes, and he's like, oh, you gotta be super careful. Like, I can you could crash into a star system. You could do this. Well, but even, I mean, they do say, they're like, this is dangerous as shit. We shouldn't be doing this. Sure, sure, but they just yeah. do it. <laughs> but he does it, yeah. But also, the TIE fighters follow them. How yeah, I think that, that work? I think the idea is they can, they they can, tra- they can track them even through hyperspace and follow them. So the idea is of the skip is to lose them through skipping each but, time. So but they are they can. getting skipped because they're close on the no, Millennium Falcon's tail? No, I think they're, they're locked onto his signal and they're skipping, they're following his light speed jumps. But then... Well, that's that. Well, that's implying that everyone can talk. Like that skip though. I like the, like the stormtroopers because right. the stormtroopers can't even shoot on target. <laughs> I, I can't see why they should be. Do, able have you to... watched the Mandalorian? Yeah. Oh yeah. My favorite <laughs> part was the Bill Burr episode. And he's like, he's like, yeah, he's an Imperial sharpshooter. He's like, oh great. Yeah. He's like, I'm not a fucking stormtrooper, <laughs> wise ass. Yeah, I yeah. Like that. yeah. <laughs> that was that great. Was good. Yeah. No, I I agree. Again, I don't know. I just. I let that that stuff I don't even think about really that's surprisingly but no it's not so I do get what you're saying yeah. that makes uh, sense kind of skipping to the ending someone in chat kind of brought this up so he says the final battle scene they completely ruined the concept of the Imperial Star Destroyers did all of them really need the Death Star laser which is overkill no yes. I, I oh, that was one of the recycled things where I was like why are we doing this I, I thought it was like 
Yeah, uh, like, are we doing, like, like just 10,000 Death again? Stars, yeah. like, right. again? One Death Star, two Death Stars, a really big Death Star, and then a bunch of ship I, I, yes. I, do, I don't think it was, like, bad, but it is, like, if they, like, if, if, if they were in the movie for any longer or doing anything else, I would have had a problem with it. But they were they were in and they weren't really deployed except for that well, one. What do you think about the whole space battle in general? Like, I thought it was cool. It, it I actually really really the good. CGI yeah. in this was oh fucking. God, I, even totally. the locations and everything looked awesome. Things felt real when they needed uh, to feel what's, real. Uh, what's the planet called? Jadril. Escabal. Escabal. Escagol? Yeah, we're like close. We're, uh, we're on the mud. Escagol? Escagol? Escagol. Escagol? Escagol. I think that's it. Popsicle. Popsicle. <laughs> Popsicle. Escagol. Uh, yeah, so there's apparently just a bunch of Sith people on that world. Right. I think, I think a lot here. more people should have died, but because, especially when he shot all that lightning into... So I was really mad have... when he didn't say ultimate power. I know, oh my God. He <laughs> said a lot. Like, when he kept saying, just strike me down. And I'm like, do Well, no, he says... Do it. Do it. Yeah. No, we gotta do, do it. it. I was happy. Yeah, no, he went full god mode. But dude, he literally shot that up and only hit the good guy's ship, so I was like I mean I guess like, he I mean I think mind you, yeah. he is on a Sith planet, so maybe he has so that, well, that, no, I, I wouldn't say that's not believable, but I was just like if that, no like, well, died, though. It's that's just convenient. Like, <laughs> it just shut down all the shit. Everyone ships. shut yeah, down yeah. and then like a couple seconds. Luckily they were up they were up in the So that scene where all the ships come in. The Razor Crest is in that scene. Oh, yeah, is yeah, it? Yeah. 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 It as well as the ship from Rebels. Oh, um, some shit. other ships. Like, there's a lot of Easter eggs in that scene. That's awesome. Also, another scene that's really Easter eggy when Ray and is hearing all those. Uh, yeah, you hear it. God, so everyone. Obviously, in. Hayden Christensen, yeah. um, Liam Neeson, Yoda, Samuel Jackson, Sam, Samuel. Samuel. Um, I heard both uh, Obi Wan. Pretty sure Kosha was in there. Ahsoka's Ahsoka. in there. Alec somebody, Guinness is I keep in doing it. somebody from Rebels is in there. Like everyone who was a Jedi. Yeah, is Alec Guinness in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end, you hear, I heard like Ray. Ray like, just yeah. like they took it from one of his old clips. Well, they, yeah, they actually. I'm pretty sure they like manipulated one of his clips to make him say Ray. Yes. That's how they did it. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I really wanted to see Ahsoka in this movie. For, cause be I saw something about we might see her. I, I think it I might think have been me just saying it's a troll. Because yeah. like like the, the Grey Jedi, like what if Ahsoka I, I think was They should have given us Force Ghosts though at that point. Like we could have seen them all. Like, I, oh, I would have loved to see I the vision. I thought that's what of like, they were gonna do of like yeah. it's a black tunnel and like everyone is just standing there looking straight and the yeah. camera's going past everyone and it's everyone I actually Absolutely. I kind of liked the reserved you just, she just heard everyone's voice personally yeah. but I did actually I thought yeah. that that's was a fan be, service moment I thought it was gonna be a force ghost service. bonanza at yeah. the end I really did I was expecting like just yeah everyone's fucking Anakin, here <laughs> old Anakin young Anakin like yep. for some, it's gonna be old Ian McClellan for, or not Ian McClellan old uh, Obi-Wan for some reason but then young Hayden's like there like, yeah, hey, hey. Hey, hey Obi-Wan you know you can show yourself as any age right yeah I nah. like this that's yeah. fine uh, but yeah no I expected that a lot I just again Palpatine was used very much in the way of how he was in the original trilogies and this is he's just a bad guy yes. right. he's, he is evil evil incarnate and I, I did enjoy the idea of they have he has all the Sith in him and she has all the Jedi in I him like basically that a lot. I thought I that really was an like interesting thought because uh, of, like I said in the beginning of this, I really love the Jedi and the Sith like always yeah. part of that lore was that dichotomy big, yeah huh. thing for me so I enjoy how he kind of described how it seemed like the Sith once they killed their master they absorbed they their essence absorbed them and then gain that power as well as even more and I think it's also because she is his blood too like she oh, is yeah. related. Well, well, like she would have been a vessel. Yeah. She okay. takes, or he takes, uh, Ben and Ray's like living force. Life force, yeah. No, not life force. The like the li remember how in Phantom Menace where um, Liam Neeson, what's his name? Oh, Qui Gon Jinn. Thank you. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> Qui Gon Jinn <laughs> is Master talking about like the living force yeah. and like another version of he the force. Like he take, like he says, he takes their living force. Nope. Oh wow. Yeah, See, and that's the thing. I like they used powers in this that I've seen in like video games and like right. things like yeah, that. And all that. Like, there's some precedent for him, and I like the idea of showing how Ben has really truly turned. He he gave her life. He used the light side power. Yeah. A, a dark side user can never use that power, and it showed his kind of right. But that, that's back. what I'm saying. No light side Jedi can use lightning. No, exactly. And that's well, why Ray well, no, that's so that's what I'm so saying. Weird. Like, how can they do both? Well, so the thing is, you can, middle a uh, light side <laughs> user can if they slip, like if they do feel the anger and use that to produce lightning. Whereas, like, but it's not a light side power. 
No, it's not. Well, have they ever in canon said that you can't as a light side user? Use I feel like no, it they has have, to be. No, it, well, they have. They said you're not supposed to. Is yeah. the idea like same uh, with poke, choke? But in reality, it's because the idea is you have to use. Yeah, right. The, yeah. the idea is you have to use dark pull. side emotions in order to make that happen. Like yeah. yeah. So whereas like uh, a dark side user maybe could heal someone if they really tried and did mm-hmm. really kind of. But like I think it's incredibly harder for them. To channel that type of energy, yeah, I would say you'd have to do it without a single drop of anger. Yeah, fear, see, I, that's one that is that's one of those that maybe is exclusively light side. Whereas lightning, if you do let yourself go like Ray did, you'll blow yeah. a fucking ship up in the sky, <laughs> which is pretty cool. But there is like in, in Legends, there's a a light side version of it. Uh, what is it called? The weird Plocoon uses it. The weird like crab oh, looking yeah, man. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. like yellow. It's like force. Force judgment or something. <laughs> and Force judgment. Like it's supposed to be. It's like yellow and like I think in one of the comics they call him in because they're like, "Yo, you use force lightning. What the fuck's up?" He's like, "Nope, I didn't. This is different." Let me it's let me cool. t- let me tell you about this force like, power I just made up. <laughs> so back in the day, they had like this old uh, episode one game, and he had a yellow lightsaber flukoon or whatever. So yeah, it's cool how they gave. Oh, that dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. man yeah. with the weird eyes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the alien, alien guy. guy. Yeah, the alien. He dies in. Uh, the third in order mm-hmm. 66 but um so i like how they gave her the yellow lightsaber at the end that's i wish i wanted like, i wanted to talk on that point where the fuck did she get that it looked like it was part of her staff like people were guests but like oh. I did, I if it, it, it was they would have made it very obvious no, i mean or it they, looks like the top of it it did look like the top i think i i really i think <sighs> that really but the thing is i wish they showed us where she got that, that right been... i'm like okay like uh, like i was telling my dad i'm like where the fuck did she get a jedi uh temple guards lightsaber like where's this where's this coming from and i don't even think she got like a de- temple guard right lightsaber. but that's but the yeah, yellow yeah. Ky- kyber crystal yeah, represents for temple guards, and yeah. i don't really think i like so like i like how she buries the lightsabers i do too like she's kind yeah. of like in a way it's kind of her like her putting their ashes to rest so not like, even like, that but i think the jedi order that's what kind of I was like. I was thinking. Sure, I was like, what if she's like, okay, the, the the Jedi's like, I'm a Jedi, but like the Order, like I'm not gonna like continue what Luke was doing or Leia was doing, but Luke hated Tatooine. Yeah, well, by the yeah, I mean he wanted to. He didn't hate. He wanted to get end, off though, the yeah. world. Yeah, like yeah, I think he realized that. I mean that place was his home. It's where he was born. And right, I just think he was a rebellious young kid who wanted to get off to the planet he's been stuck on for. However many and then years. she takes fucking Skywalker. I don't even care for it for plot's sake though. Ending it with the twin sons was the right move. Was awesome, uh, dude. I, I wish I wish the binary everything. sunset moment was a little more like exact yeah. scene for scene because that that's is, like one of my favorite scenes from Star Wars. Is absolutely. is like when it's just like not even like looking at the suns where like Luke is looking like my away. favorite scene yeah. in the Last Jedi just, is when he fades and he's lo- he looks up at the red sun or the two suns and then he disappears. I love it. Yeah, that was good. But yeah, no, I I took it more as she just became a real Jedi because she built her what own you, lightsaber. Uh, what do you think about so Leia did not vanish until Kylo? Right, also because she vanished? was using. I think she was channeling. I still think her she. I think maybe him. she was the one who channeled Ben, ben or, uh, or Har- Han Solo, Harrison Ford. <laughs> Harrison Ford. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, Harrison I think Ford. that might be. It. And like, uh, <laughs> she wasn't truly at rest until Kylo or Ben was Ben. Again. Yeah, fully. Was fully okay. Yeah, yeah. I've I've kind of hit. We think I've kind of think we hit every point. We didn't bring up Babu Frick though. Oh, he was great. He was awesome. (laughs) (laughs) He was stoned as shit. (laughs) Black, black. (laughs) It's so amazing. I I thought he was really good. Again, a lot of the aliens, all the makeups and stuff in this, fucking great. great. So closing thoughts. I really I, I enjoy the movie. There's just like so many weird gripes I have with it, and I don't think the trilogy is good in with the three movies. I think like you could have taken last Jedi out and uh, rise of Skywalker could have been a sequel to the force awakens 110%. Like it's, 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 it sucks that there's so much retconning and there was so much bullshit going on behind the scenes with, the uh, the directing of uh, the Last Jedi and Rise well, of Skywalker. Well, it's funny. It wasn't even with the Last Jedi. There wasn't he right, just was but it, to do it. But the now, outcome. Yeah, 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 so yeah. like it or not, regardless, they just had too much freedom to go. Okay, I'm going to do this. Well, I'm going to take it here. And now I, I do think like way. they should have. They should have had these bullet points. This is we're going here, here, then yes. here. Fill in the how to get there. Yes. Let us. And I don't think that would. I I just think this trilogy would have taken a lot from a more strong direction, and maybe even just being directed by one director the entire time. Right. I would have maybe liked to seen what this was like. Say, JJ did do do them both, 
or all three of them. Yeah, I think. But I mean, did yeah, a lot with the three movies. I think yeah. he, I think he did a good job. Um, again, it's just Last Jedi. It's just this like taint for me on it, and I think yeah. it taints. Rise of Skywalker. I think of like a really like if that movie didn't it's exist. Funny, it's like the opposite for me because I just hate that they retconned all the stuff that I actually enjoyed. I hate show. that and they retconned it so too. I, I, I don't like it either. Fan base divided. Yeah, it's funny. I, as another disliker of the Last Jedi, it's yeah. funny how much I'm like, wow, I'm really surprised that like you did fix a good amount of things that I disliked, but still. But me, and, I'm like, I do like I, I like that she was a nobody. I did yeah. enjoy that they got rid of the the mentor mentee dynamic with Kylo and I would have liked to see that even go a more different way because it didn't end up just being the master the, the, the last point I want to hit is kind of like a grand point of like we're planning on doing a podcast on this last month or next month uh, yeah. like it's Disney ruining Star Wars and I think like the ending of this movie is like a a beautiful testament to the fact that yeah Disney is in control of Star Wars and they won't let characters die and they're not going to let Rey become bad because god forbid she's bad she's a role model for little girls they won't yeah. They won't walk that line or even like push it because like what if that vision was real? What if the, what if they did flip? Because like that was what I wanted at first with Last Jedi. I them flipping sides. Yeah. That would have been awesome. Ben Solo would have been a Jedi the whole time. I love like he would have been a cool right, but Jedi. like Disney won't take that leap. And I think I, think, I, I personally think, would have think it would have been I, a really weird jarring jump for me but yeah and, and, just and i just i just think disney in a way is hold, holding it back and i think if disney wasn't involved I as much think, we would have had a cooler movie I and just, cooler trilogy i think if you got any watch, single watch that podcast in the future i feel like if you got any <laughs> other big movie company you would have had immediately similar issues because there's not they're agree. not gonna give it if you kept it with george lucas we would have gotten the weirdest fucking trilogy did you did you yeah. read his screen treatments no, you want to go into like the wills and like really like the little stuff of the Force where I was just like, I mean, maybe some people were about that, but like, I was just like, oh, it was just been more midichlorian stuff. Oh, wow, and like, okay. And I was just like... So he was really... In, in he he had like some treatments really. for 7, 8, and 9, but I think if you give this to any big studio, which it wasn't going to not go to a big studio, you're going to see these issues of some kind. And I don't think... Right, but, they're but nearly Dis Disney is, I think, feel like a different company. A different kind of like like presence above a movie. And they're, they're, yeah, it's just, Disney's I mean, also in a like a weird spot. Like it seems like they want to do their own thing, but they're also scared. Like, and you see that. Well, because I mean, trilogy, with the Last Jedi, they got <laughs> with this know, trilogy, like, Whoa, like, the Force Awakens, they played it very safe. E they even with Marvel went, movies, when yes. are they gonna fucking push the boundary? Yes. you've made so much money, you can afford I, to have a Marvel movie bad if it doesn't work out. Like we're getting, like we're kind of getting off topic here, but like Shang Chi, Eternals, they are fucking C lister characters from Marvel. They need to make them weird yeah. and cool and experiment and do I mean, something. They have. And then if it's well, I mean, like they've had Guardians of the Galaxy, I, Iron Man was a C-list character before for the mainstream no, 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 audience. I, I don't yeah, mean sure, I don't mean the absolutely. characters. I mean the type of movie it is. I Guardians is a very not. I don't. I think it's a pretty safe movie. It's a bunch of misfit heroes coming together. Yeah. That, you know, well, we've seen I don't that before. I don't think that was safe at all when we were coming out. But it wasn't a safe a product different. to use. But mind yeah. you, Marvel wasn't like how they set it up a was... staple yet. Like they proved Avengers worked, but like they were still like garnering that. Um, and this will so. be another topic. Yeah, yeah I was like, we'll, uh, we'll I, just, I was gonna cut else. it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, gentlemen, was there anything else that we would talk about relating to the Last Skywalker? Anything else at all? That's not the name of the movie. The rise of the Skywalker, <laughs> the last Jedi's yeah. among men and Skywalkers. The Force Awakening to Skywalkers. the rise of the Sky Skywalkers. <laughs> the Force Awakening with the last Jedi. Change of titles in this one. No, it is, and I, I would have liked to. Uh, I mean, face value, I do love that title of the last Jedi. Just the I like Jedi. the last Jedi I like title. I don't yeah. like the rise of Skywalker. I don't either. Title. And even I do when, think even when they present, I'm like, what? I'm like, that's this in this whole fucking series. Well, especially <laughs> after they announced that she was a nobody, it just made it seem that it's like that so. What is, like, she so gonna... what is she going to do with this? Retcon. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Right. Like I'm sure Ryan Johnson like really did have her as I a wanna, nobody. I really oh, no, want to know what he thought about this. You like, gotta you gotta watch his. I like. I mean, maybe not have made choices that everyone agree with, but he is a passionate guy about Star Wars, and he really enjoys this whole series. And I don't know. I, I guess that's another reason why I, I kind of give him a pass on some things that maybe other people don't. He seemed to be a guy that really does care about Star Wars, and I guess he, he did want to do something different, which maybe not all genres need to be turned on their heads. Yeah. But for better or for worse... This is what we got. I mean, you know, we have And Baby I think Yoda it could have Yeah, we got Baby Yoda. We got Mandalorian. It doesn't we matter. got some things down, but we got a Kenobi <laughs> series coming. That, I cool. While they've had a misstep in some people's eyes with maybe Solo and the Last Jedi, I think overall this hasn't been 
nearly as much of a shit show as people I think like to say it is. I think if 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 the if we were still on track with the Last Jedi, maybe. But I think Rise of Skywalker definitely redeemed, in my opinion, what the, the you know Last Jedi did shittily. Yeah, Fair. Shit, I completely yeah, agree yeah, yeah. I hear you. Guys. And on so that note, we'll call it. We'll call it. Awesome. <laughs> well, that does it for us today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you've been watching Thanks. live on Twitch TV slash Duck Runner Network, we super appreciate it. Uh, you can find us on all the podcast services as well as YouTube. Just search Duck Runner Network. If you could drop us a review, that always helps us. As always, you can find all this info on our website, DuckUnderNetwork.com. For Gooch, for Mike, I've been Trio. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay nerdy. We will see you actually pretty soon. Yeah, we're doing another podcast after this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>